Unraveling the mystery. Doesn't hold water. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English idiom that often puzzles learners. Doesn't hold water. This phrase has nothing to do with water management but is rich in meaning and usage in everyday English. Let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in your conversations and writing. The idiom, doesn't hold water, is used to say that an argument, theory, or idea is not sound, valid, or logical. If something doesn't hold water, it means it cannot withstand scrutiny or criticism and falls apart under examination. Think of it as trying to carry water in a container full of holes. No matter how much water you pour in, it won't stay there. Similarly, an argument that doesn't hold water has holes or flaws that make it ineffective. The phrase is believed to have origins in the legal world or everyday practical tasks of the past, where the ability to hold water was a literal test of the integrity of containers like barrels, buckets, or vessels. Over time, it became a metaphorical way to evaluate the integrity and solidity of arguments or ideas. This transition from a physical evaluation to a figurative one shows the evolution of language and how everyday objects can influence expressions and idioms. To better understand how to use, doesn't hold water, let's look at some examples. In debate, his argument that the policy would benefit everyone doesn't hold water because he failed to consider its negative effects on low-income families. In criticism, the plot of the movie doesn't hold water, the characters' decisions don't make sense with the story's logic. In everyday conversation, the excuse you gave for being late doesn't hold water. Traffic was light today. Understanding and using idioms like, doesn't hold water, can add depth and nuance to your English. It's a wonderful way to express skepticism or doubt about the validity of an argument in a colorful and metaphorical manner. We hope this exploration has made the idiom clearer and that you're now more confident in using it in your own English conversations. Keep learning, and remember, the beauty of language lies in its richness and variety. Happy learning!